Without a good style guide, a brand's image can quickly descend into chaos. Style guides, while essential to the consistent look and feel of a brand, can often be overwhelming, overcomplicated, and quite cumbersome to use. Imagine if every time you want to check a color value or font, you have to trawl through a 100 page document. What I find really useful and what clients find practical is a concise one page style guide that can be printed out and put in the office or easily accessed on your desktop or online, which is exactly what we'll be covering in this video. To make this super simple for anyone to use for their brand or business, I'm going to show you how I set these up in Kittle. Kittle is an online platform with many features that are super useful for brands and designers, such as templates and image libraries. But there's one feature in particular which is very useful for brand style guides, and we'll get to that later on in the video. If you want to check it out, you can try it for free by clicking the link in the description. You'll also get 25% off the pro and expert plans with my discount code Shapes by Sean YT. So first up, what is a brand style guide? A brand style guide is a document, otherwise known as brand guidelines, covering all of the brand assets and the rules of their usage. Normally this would cover logos, graphic assets, like patterns, illustrations, shapes and icons, the color palette, imagery and photography style, layout guides for things like social media posts and posters, tone of voice, which is the personality and tone in the messaging, and examples and applications. The primary purpose of a style guide or brand guideline is to ensure that no matter where or by whom the brand is represented, it maintains a unified and consistent appearance and tone. This helps build brand recognition and trust over time and basically stops it all turning into a big mess. You can dig into lots of existing brand guidelines and style guides at brandingstyleguides.com. I'll put a link in the description for you to check out. There are plenty of great examples on there. Our one page brand style guide is gonna be for an independent carpentry brand I designed called the Lumberjack Project. Here are some brand applications so you can get a feel of the type of style our guide will be based on. There's a strong feeling of contemporary craft running through the brand identity. So we need to make sure our style guide clearly captures that. First things first, we're gonna come over to Kittle and open up a new project. These are the dimensions I'll be using. I'm then gonna create a sort of grid of boxes to plan out the positioning of each element of my style guide. I like to start with our logo at the top and work our way down to a nice set of design examples at the bottom, which can be used as inspiration. Next, I need to upload all of my brand elements and imagery to a new folder within Kittle, which I'll name LJP. Now I need the colors to be used. As you can see from the brand applications, there's a black, a cream off-white background color and an accent of white and gray. I've assigned Pantone colors to these, which I'd always recommend to ensure consistency, particularly across print material. The RGB and CMYK values are matched to those Pantones. Since we're creating this in Kittle, I'll be using the RGB values. Here we can start to use a great feature in Kittle, and that is the brand kit where I can add preset text styles, color styles, and even photo filters. So let's start by clicking the brand kit icon, then coming down to new brand kit, and start adding colors and naming them. I'll use the hex codes, which I'm copying over directly from Adobe Illustrator, but you can manually input the RGB values too. Now the colors are in, you'll see them in our color palette down here. But if you're less design competent, there are a bunch of preset color palettes you can choose from to make life easy. Now I'll add our logo onto the cream background we put into our brand kit. I want to ensure the logo is being used correctly, so I'll add some of those commonly used rules. Again, not wanting to bog this down with too many details. So I'll just add our clearance zone using one fifth of our overall height as a guide. Now 
We'll also have a minimum size recommendation for print of 10 millimeters in height. I also want a slightly simpler mark to be used on social media channels. So I'll include our crest in the center as a secondary mark, including a very short explanation under each of these elements. Now I can input our typography into the style guide using the colors from our brand kit so everything is consistent. But to do that, I first need to upload our fonts, which if you have them downloaded is very easy. You just click the text icon, add a heading or body copy, and with any text box selected, you click here to upload your fonts. I've already uploaded ones I need. There's also a very large library of fonts in Kittle that you're free to use. So I'm gonna add our heading font, our subheadings, our body copy, and our caption font making sure I'm given a good indication of the relative size of each of those as an example layout to follow. I can then select each of these individually and add them to our brand kit, giving them the relevant titles as I go. Now we want to be as concise as possible, so we're going to have our tone of voice guide written within our typography guide, which I want to highlight the passion for craftsmanship that goes into each and every product. Now we can add our colour palette, for which I'll include a colour ratio by using these blocks of colour. It's important to include all of the colour breakdowns in this bit, so we keep a consistent colour palette across print and digital, and to annotate each colour so it's clear what they should be used for. Again, these are all pre-saved now in our brand kit, making things very easy. One thing you'll notice is the use of textures in our design. So I wanna create a similar ratio system. So we have our craft paper, our wood textures, then we have our grid paper and our maps to show where the wood has come from. Next up, a photography guide. Now ideally this would be using original photography done for the brand, but we aren't at that stage yet. So we just need to include an ideal photography style using found examples. I'm gonna separate this into product photography and lifestyle photography. Our product photography should be simple and clear, always lit from the left-hand side with studio lighting. A clear front on shot and a close-up angled shot should be captured. Our lifestyle photography is going to capture the story behind each product. It could be moments from the production process or where the original wood came from. It should feel authentic and naturally lit. I've actually added a slightly desaturated photo filter setting here to make sure our photography fits with the same craft style as our graphics. We don't want any super vibrant or garish images being used. I'll then have a layout guide for a poster to show how it all comes together. I will also in the future create editable templates for things like posters, social media templates and more which can easily be edited by my client in Kittle. Finally, we have some gorgeous design examples to be used as a design inspiration. Some of these are mocked up in Kittle using the mock-up generator, others are created using Envato Elements. I have the pro account, so I have access to the full library of mock-ups, as well as the AI image generation tools, unlimited brand kits, premium templates, and more. Now that we have our concise style guide, I'll show a quick example of how useful this can be. Let's create a new social media post showing some beautiful workshop photography. The client has supplied me of the image they want to use and I've uploaded it to our project library. I'll create a new canvas right here in the same project using our Instagram post dimensions. I can then take our background texture directly from our brand style guide. Once I have the image in place, I can add in our text and logo following the guide set in our style guide. I'll then put a little circle of text here using the transformation options available. And as simple as that, we now have a beautiful Instagram post. I would highly recommend Kittle. Try it for free using my link in the description. For 25% off the first month or year of the pro and expert plans, use my code SHAPESBYSEANYT. This will give you access to the full potential of Kittle for a very affordable price. While on the topic of social media templates, I actually created a video on just that topic. So if you want to know how I do it using Kittle, click the thumbnail on the screen. I hope you found this helpful. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.